A man spends one third of his salary on food, one quarter on transport, and saves the rest. If he saves $200, what is his salary? It's just so easy, so relax. Now, what you do here, you see that this man shared his salary into fractions. And the one he shared, the one that he spent on, the one for food, is one third. That is for our food. The food is one third. And then for transport, he spent one quarter. Now, is it possible we know the total number of parts this money was shared? How do we know that? If you want to know that, we need to know the common denominator of three and four. And the common denominator of three and four, let's go with the multiples of three and four. You know that for three, multiples of three, we have three, we have six, we have nine, we have 12. And for multiples of four, we have four, we have eight, we have 12. Did you see? So the common denominator, lowest common for them is this 12. So it means that this man shared his money into 12 parts. So if that is true, it means that for food, let's take this back to this 12. For food, if you want to take it back, we are going to multiply this one. You need to multiply 3 by 4 for you to get 12. So we are going to multiply 3 by 4 to give us this common denominator. And we also do same to the numerator. We are also going to multiply this. You know, when you multiply this by 3, it gives you 12. And you also do same to the numerator. Now, if we do that, we are going to have, this will give us 1 times 4 is 4. And this will give us 12. Then for trans, 1 times 3 is 3. And this we also multiply to give us 12. So you see the original fraction that was spent on this food and the original one that was spent on transport. So what it means is that if we can divide this man's salary, let's use a bar to divide the man's salary into 12. So we have this. We are going to divide it. This is the man's salary. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, and 12. So these are the parts this salary was shared. And we have seen that the one that was spent on food is 4 out of 12. You see that the whole of them is 12. So he spent 4 out of the total, which is 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is the one he spent on food. I hope you are with me. Then for the trans, he spent three out of two of. So one, two, three is the one he spent on transportation. And the question says, he saves the rest. So it means the rest are one, two, three, four, five. This gives you the rest which he saved. And the question went back to say that if he saves $200, that means this one that is the rest is the one he saved. It means that from this point to this point is $200. Did you see that? So if from here to here is $200, what is the value of each of these bars? Let me show you how to do that. So to do that, what do you do? You see that you have five bars gives you $200. So if you want to know the value of each bar, quickly, you do $200, divide it by the five bars. And when you divide this, it gives you $40. That means each bar is 40. And it is the same for every because he shared everything. It's 12 parts. So it means this one is 40. This is 40. This is 40. Here is $40. This is 40. This is 40. This is also 40. Every of them is 40. So if this is what he has, it means that if you want to know his salary, it means you need to multiply this 40 by the total bars. The total bars we have here is 12. So we're going to multiply 40 by 12. Or you add this whole, it gives you the total salary. So let's use multiplication. So we can now say that the salary 
will be 40 multiplied by 12. And when you multiply 4 by 12, it gives you 48, then add 0. So our answer is giving us $48. Now with this, can you tell me how much this man spent on food and how much he also spent on transportation using this bus? I hope this now helps you. Let's know if it does in the comments. If this also helps, like, share. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.